I'm placing the fiducial on the patient's head. This allows the robot to orient itself. And you can see that they're vertical, so the robot is going to go up and down uh, when it makes the recipient sides. And this is the, uh, the digital projection of the same thing. I'm going to remove the move the robot into place. There's two guiding lights, and when they, these things converge, we know we're at the right distance. And then the robot starts to take over. Now, this robot has already been pre-programmed for the distribution, the density, the angle. It's all already in place. And the robot just now automatically uh, follows the pattern that I had uh, programmed into the computer a little while before. I'm going to take now a look at the side view of the robot actually working. Um, it, it goes pretty quickly. It, it can do about up to 2,000 uh, recipient sites an hour. Um, although you, you, the actual procedure takes longer than that because you, know, you have to move these fiducials usually about three or four times in the field that we're, we're doing. And this again is uh, just a projection uh, onto the, onto the uh, television screen. And um, you can actually see the at the bottom those white spots is where the recipient sites are being made. If you look in the central panel, which we'll see in a second, um, this is actually you know, the, the, uh, the robot visualizing the, the scalp and, and identifying the hairs. And in the central uh, panel, as you can see now, with these numbers 45 and 20. Those are parameters that determine the, the density, the angle uh, away from the scalp, um, the distribution of recipient sites. So all the parameters we'd already programmed into the robot before it started to make the sites.